This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 2.7. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 2, Supplemental Problems, on page 8. Given this little window into a circuit, with some of the measured voltages and currents given, could you solve for the current I1, I2, and the voltage V? Here's I1, here's I2, and here's the voltage V. Now, in doing this, we're going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law, current law, and Ohm's law. I like to solve problems by writing as much as I can on the schematic, and so I've done that below here. I've also labeled the order in which I attack the problem. It's not necessarily the only way, but it is one way. I started over here on the top right. I have 5 amps entering, I have 3 amps leaving, and so this must be 2 amps. In other words, 5 is equal to 3 plus 2. So that's one of my unknowns. Went down over here, did the same thing. I have 3 amps entering, 1 amp leaving, so there must be 2 amps here. 3 is equal to 2 plus 1. That 2 amps flows into 2 ohms, so by Ohm's law I get 2 times 2, or 4 volts. Now the current coming in here is, is 2 amps, leaving is 1 amp, so there must be 1 amp leaving this way. 2 is equal to 1 plus 1. That was my step 4. Come back up here on top, I've got 1 amp entering, I've got 2 amps entering, so 3 has to be leaving. That's my fifth step, and of course that's one of my unknowns. And lastly, I've got 2 amps flowing in this 5 ohm resistor. By Ohm's law, I get 5 times 2, or 10 volts. Now I know all the voltages around this loop except the unknown voltage V. Start anywhere, I'm going to go around clockwise. So the rise in voltage is 4, the rise in voltage is 10, the drop is V, and the drop is 4. So 4 plus 10 has to equal V plus 4. And that's shown on the bottom. The 4's cancel, and I have the V is equal to 10. And this is supplemental problem 2.7.